What's up guys, Ricky here. So I called myself out earlier today. I posted on uh, in the Facebook group, the Zero to Diamond Real Estate Agent Facebook group that I want to go get 100 listings. Here's the post right here. It says, okay, I'm at 41 active listings with another 12 pending. I'm working on a plan this weekend and preparing myself to stop at nothing until I get 100 active listings this year. I just want to touch 100, even if it's just for a second. So, like I said, I called myself out. And what it is, is, is over the past year, I got into speaking, coaching, writing, and I've been giving everybody else challenges. There's the Ricky Carruth Thousand Call Challenge. I've been telling people they need to make 100 calls a day, so on and so forth. So, I'm to the point where I feel like, hey, it's time to give myself a challenge get in there, get my hands dirty, and show you guys that uh, you, you, know, you can accomplish things that you want to accomplish. You just have to put in the work. So the highest I've ever gotten is 74 listings. That was a couple years ago when inventory was a lot higher. Um, it's a lot tougher in today's market. Inventory is super low, and it is really, really tough. But I do have 41 active listings, and I do believe that if I do what I'm supposed to do and, and put the daily actions in, into play that I can get to 100 listings at some point this year. So that's what my goal is. Um, so how am I going to do this? I'm going to tell you what how I'm going to do it. And, and just to create context, that may be different from the way that you're going to do it. I'm very established in the market. Um, you know, I've sold 100 properties a year for the last four years. I've been here 16 years selling real estate. I grew up here. Um, I have a lot going for me. So it's not going to be, it's, it, it's never going to be hard to make calls, even if you're brand new. So I don't want to say it's going to be easy to make the calls, but I have a lot to talk about. I have a lot of confidence. I have a lot of experience. I've made over 100,000 calls in my career. So I know how to handle all the different situations. And so I'll probably make it look easy in terms of getting listings. So, but... Let me, let me break down my plan, and then I'll tell you what I think that you guys should be doing if you're not as established, okay? So this will give you kind of both angles from an established point of view and from a newer agent or somebody who's just not as, as established or trying to reestablish their self in the market kind of point of view. So what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to take my huge database that I already have, um, and I'm going to plug everything we want to do is going to involve Red X. Okay, theredx.com. Um, Red X is a dialer, it also finds phone numbers for you. This is an incredible, an incredible, an incredible tool. Um, when I made my 100,000 calls, there was no Red X, there was no dialer systems, there was nothing. And so, I had to look up every single phone number on whitepages.com and call them all, dialing every number where 70% or more were bad numbers, but I still had to dial them to find out. And it took me all night from about five o'clock to midnight to look up the 100 numbers. Then I came in the next day from nine o'clock to five o'clock. That's how long it took me to call 100 uh, numbers. But nowadays, you can come into the office and click a couple buttons, find a thousand numbers, a hundred numbers, 300 numbers in the blink of an eye, click another button and start dialing them and never even have to do this. Um, it is amazing where technology has brought us in terms of making things easy for real estate agents. And if you went through what I went through before the times of social media and technology and dialers, then you have a true appreciation for where it is right now. It is so, so easy. And it really, um, it's amazing to me how many agents do not use the tools that are right there in front of them um, and just take advantage of the situation. Um, they really take it for granted because, and, and I get it, you, you don't know any better. You didn't know life before dialers. You don't realize that phone calls are actually the way to go. Um, conversation is the key to all closings. You have to talk to people. And so it's just amazing to me where we are and how many people are not using it and taking advantage of it. So 
What I'm going to do with Red X is, is I'm going to plug all my past clients, which they're already plugged in there. I'm going to plug them all in there and I'm going to call past clients and people, even people that haven't bought from me, but I have their number and they know who I am. I'm going to call those people. Now I'm not going to call all of them before I start calling new clients. Okay. So this is what I'm going to do. I want two very intensive, you know, big phone call sessions, maybe three hour sessions per week. So I'm going to do two, three hour phone call sessions per week. And for those of you who, who kind of know my background and everything, you'll know, and I've said it before last year, I didn't make any phone calls at all. I didn't have to because I built my business so big um, with the phone calls I made and the weekly email that, that goes out to my entire, entire database. You guys know I haven't made any phone calls. So I didn't have to. So this is, I, I'm just to the point now where I feel like I don't, I, I want to keep the momentum. It's all about momentum. Real estate is all about momentum. And I feel like I'm putting a lot into the coaching, speaking, YouTube, you know, vlogging stuff. And, and I'm not, I, I'm, I'm still doing real estate more than the other stuff, but I just don't want to lose sight. I don't want to lose it, right? I want to keep, if you, if you, if you quit using it, you'll lose it. And so I just don't want to end up like that. Me, I'm, I'm a real estate practitioner. I am always going to be on the cutting edge of real estate. I'm always going to be ahead of the curve on business and uh, where the real estate business is going and how I can take advantage of every little situation. And so I have to continue uh, to up my game and to stay on my toes when it comes to being in the market, having active listings and, and having closings, right? So I want to lead you guys by example. I'm creating this challenge for myself so that you guys can turn around and become inspired to create your own challenges for your own selves. So um, there's a lot of, lot of different purposes why I'm doing this. One, I'm going to create listings and sales right? Which is going to be great too. And, and the second reason is the big one is the reason why a lot of you guys are, are just are not where you want to be because you don't get this part yet. But the second reason is, is I'm going to get some listings. Let's say I get a hundred listings. Well, if I get a hundred listings, that means I probably talk to, I don't know how many people, three, four, 5,000 people. I don't know how many people I'll have to talk to, to get to a hundred listings, but if I get to 100 listings, that means I've talked to thousands of people, and that means that I've probably gotten another three, four, five hundred extra relationships for the future in place. People that are going to do business with me later, right? That's something that is huge that people just kind of put to the wayside, and that's something that I've built my entire business on. It are the people that aren't ready right now but liked you enough to do something? They're just not ready. So I want to cultivate those relationships for the future, where in five, I may get an extra 30 or 40 deals in 2022 from the phone calls I'm fixing to make this year. And so I'm, I want those 40 deals, right? And I want those relationships because it's not just the 40 deals. It's the repeat business off the 40 deals. It's the referrals off the 40 deals. The ROI long-term off of making phone calls is ridiculous, right? So I want two really huge phone call sessions per week, and then I want to fill in the gaps. If I have 10 minutes here, 20 minutes there, an hour here, an hour there, I'm going to get right on the phone. not going to hesitate. I'm just going to go straight, hit the dial button, and start talking to people and really get my conversations up. I need more conversations, right? I don't really care who they are. As long as they're property owners or past clients, um, I just have to create the relationship, get the conversation going, figure out what their goals are, and just help them accomplish whatever it is they're trying to accomplish. They want to buy or sell something, either now or later. It's going to happen. It's just a matter of, are you the guy for them or girl for them? Um, are you the one that is showing them that you really care about them, that you want to help, that you're going to go over the top, that you're a hard worker, that you get the job done, right? So that's how I'm going to do it. I'm just going to Increase the amount of conversations I have times a million because I'm not really doing any prospecting right now. All I've really been doing is following up with people that have been coming to me, and that's been keeping me super busy. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to time block, right? But I really want this. I really want to taste 100 listings. It's just something I really want. It's something I'm going to do. So I have to time block twice a week 
for two to three hours, big phone call sessions, and just go hard at it. Now, if I were newer or trying to reestablish myself in the market, I would again get Red X because Red X will find for sale by owners expired and circle prospecting, you know, the, the you know, targeting neighborhoods or complexes or streets or whatever. So if you guys aren't a part of Red X, it is an incredible tool. Um, I'll put a link below where you guys can, can uh, save the $150 startup fee, um, or you can call them and tell them I sent you. They will waive the $150 startup fee, and then you can just get whatever products you want. I just have the Geo Leads because I don't do for sale by owners and expireds, but if I were new or if I was trying to get reestablished in the market, I would be calling for sale by owners and expireds. So this would be my strategy if I were brand new. Monday, I would get Red X, I would get for sale by owners, expires, geo leads. Okay, what that does is, is Red X will fill your database up with the, with the recent, you know, every day they put the new for sale by owners and expires in your database. You don't have to do anything. So what I would do is I would, I would let that build up over a week. And Monday, I would call all the for sale by owners for the last week set appointments, go see them, shake their hand, tell them you really care about them, you don't really, you're not there to just list the property, you wanna help them as a person accomplish their goals and get their email. You wanna get everybody's email, you wanna get them on this weekly email report. Okay, so if you wanna know more about from my for sale by owner strategies, you know, I have other videos on YouTube and then also on zerototodiamond.com. Um, so the same thing with expireds. If you don't know my strategies there, it's right there for you. But I would do for sale by owners Monday, expireds Tuesday, circle prospecting Wednesday. If you want to know more about circle prospecting, I'll put a link below. I did a webinar on circle prospecting where you can learn everything you need to know about that. So that's what I would do if I were new. I would have three-hour sessions Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. I would have a weekly email that goes out. I would collect everybody's email addresses that I could possibly get. And then over a long term, I would put those email addresses into Facebook, run Facebook ads against those same people. Now they're getting their week, your, the weekly email from you and they're seeing you uh, running sponsored ads on Facebook and Instagram. Because I would connect my Instagram account to my Facebook business page and run those simultaneously. And so that's kind of a nutshell how I would do it. If I were new, that's how I'm doing it now. So you have the perspective of, uh, you know, a, a new guy trying to get reestablished or established at all and an experienced guy. So all I'm going to do is leverage all the sales that I've made over the past years. I'm going to call buildings that I've sold five and 10 properties in already. I'm going to call them and say, hey, you know, I've sold this. Is there anything I could do to help you? Or I may not even brag about it. I may just call and say, hey, there's a new listing. Is there anything I can do for you? I'm going to try different things. When you're making phone calls, it's all about trying one reason and one and one angle and then figure out if it's working or not. And if not, switching it up. Maybe talk to five or 10 people, see if you're getting the responses you want. And if you're not, switch it up. Because if you don't feel good about it, you're not getting the responses you want, then you're going to continue to go downhill. Each call is going to get worse and worse and worse. So switch it up, keep it fresh, and good things will happen. But always come from a place of giving and just wanting to help and figuring out what it is you can do for them, not about what they can do for you, and everything will be just fine. So comment below if you guys want to see me hit 100 listings at some point this year. Um, I'm going to be documenting my journey. A lot of you guys are already watching my journey through the Daily Grind vlog and the other videos I do and Instagram and Facebook and Snapchat and all that good stuff. So if there's anything I could do for you, please let me know. I'm going to be grinding. I'm putting together a plan of who exactly I'm going to be hitting this week to try to start this journey of 100 listings. And I'm just super pumped. So hit me up if I can help you. And uh, you guys have a good week. And we'll talk to you guys real soon.